Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again. I know it's been a while, but with another Horizon video. And this time we're talking about the brand newly announced Horizon 2 Forbidden West that was announced, well, my time here in Australia at 7 o'clock in the morning this morning as I was waking up about to go to work. I was literally watching a live stream of the PS4 reveal as I woke up and was walking from my house to my car when the trailer for Horizon Forbidden West was shown. So I watched it like sitting in the car with excitement, haven't watched it again, I'm about to watch it again now, so this is sort of my proper analysis reaction. I haven't gone and done a bunch of research or watched a whole bunch of videos on it. This is now the second time I'm going to watch the trailer for this. I went to work, I've come home, I want to watch the trailer, I want to pause it and stop it and just discuss what I see, my thoughts on it, my reactions to it and, and what I can just, I guess, break down from this trailer in as raw a form as I can and not be a, too over the top here. And of course, if you like what you're seeing here and you want to see more, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel because I will be covering Horizon Forbidden West as much as I possibly can with news, trailer breakdowns, reviews, all that sort of stuff in the coming months until the game is released, plus of course plenty of content when the game does release. And if you like Assassin's Creed, I do some Assassin's Creed content as well, leading up to Valhalla, so subscribe for that as well. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's get into this trailer. And first of all, just from the PS5 reveal itself, this game looks so fucking gorgeous. Obviously, this video I'm releasing this in isn't 4K, but I'm watching the trailer in 4K, and it is so ridiculous how good this game looks. The old ones. So, I wanted to stop it here, seeing this wreckages, of course, of the old ones. The first words that Aloy used, the old ones. And obviously, when I heard Aloy's voice, I, I came a little in my pants, but... The thing that draws me into Horizon Zero Dawn, and I hope with Horizon Forbidden West, is it's a narrative and a world that is built on mystery and discovery. What I loved so much about Horizon Zero Dawn was those two things. I didn't know this world, I didn't understand it, and throughout the whole game you want to learn more about Aloy, who she is as a person, but also more about this world than what happened to it. And we learned so much about that. So what I've been worried about with the sequel and a follow-up is, will it lose that sense of mystery and discovery? And what we get straight away from that first line is the old ones. So already, it's a big key focus of this game. We're getting shots of the landscape and what came before. So obviously, there's more for us to learn. And I hope it remains a key focus. And I'm encouraged for the fact that the first line is the old ones that we're going to get that once again. So I'm looking forward to more mystery and more discovery when I explore the world of Forbidden West. Anyway, let's continue. Perished a thousand years ago. Their great cities turned to graves. I'll stop it here again with the underwater. Uh, obviously, they're showing a lot of landscape straight away. One, it's telling us more about the world and what we're going to see in the world. But what this shows us, and what it shows later in the trailer that I noticed, was Aloy underwater. So they're adding that element, especially since we're obviously on the West Coast. Horizon Zero Dawn is set in Utah and Colorado, in obviously Central West America. Whereas now we're on the West Coast, San Francisco. So obviously there's an ocean, there's the Pacific Ocean. And what's been covered up, is there some, obviously we see a building here, that's been covered by water so that becomes a whole new environment to explore and we see that in the trailer so that's an exciting sense of discovery with that underwater environment but even on top of that it doesn't even look like what we know underwater environments look like on earth like the rest of horizon and its world very colorful very gorgeous very different that combination of futuristic and ancient that's what horizon does so well to uh, juxtapose i guess and you see that right here so many colors you see this sort of step into the past but those colors that spring out to you kind of scream futuristic colors 
I don't know, when I see those purples and pinks, that doesn't screen, those aren't those natural colors. So there are those colorful juxtapositions of what we're dealing with when it comes to the world of Horizon. We're dealing with both the past and the future and the effects of nature and technology combining together. In their place came new life. So obviously, one thing we're seeing in this trailer is that connection, as I said, nature versus technology. That's a massive theme throughout Horizon Zero Dawn and continues on here with Forbidden West, but it also introduces some sort of new danger we see that's affecting the the nature side of things, that these, I don't know if they're machine cores, but I'm sure they come from a technology and whatever this is, some sort of plant that is killing natural life. So that's something that's going to come into this that obviously the machines have something to do with. They, they have to, right? Aloy, I just want to say this, is fucking awesome. I just want to stop that and just say Aloy's fucking awesome. I love her. She's incredible. Let's continue. <laughs> find a way to stop it so here we have again we see this sort of plant life killing an animal and affecting the sickness and Aloy's investigating that side of things it one it once again brings that theme of natural life being killed by this thing but it also is showing this character moment for Aloy which is one of the reasons that I for one am attached to Aloy as a character she is such a kind person she is quite a simple character in that she's very new to this world in horizon zero dawn and we go along with her discovering all these things so we make that connection to her she's a great connection from player to world in the game but at the same time what stands out about her is how kind she is she understands people and that's why she's able to connect to so many different sorts of tribes and cultures throughout the world but it's also a part of her personality that she cares so much about all living things in that world so she wants to protect that from what would seek to destroy it which is again technology or will get worse and worse until it destroys us all What you see in the sky there looks like Hades. Like, it looks like, I don't know if it is Hades or just some sort of fucking technology demon like we saw in Horizon Zero Dawn, but that looks to me like Hades, and obviously we defeat Hades at the end of Horizon Zero Dawn, spoilers, but Silence, who will come into this trailer in a moment, captures him and wants to use him, so perhaps this is Silence's plan and this sort of plant that's killing nature this sort of plague that's hitting the world perhaps that silence doing or certainly has some understanding and it will come into play with this threat again what i'm loving about this seeing all the scenery seeing the different landscapes but you're seeing Aloy going on an adventure here. You're seeing her explore a new world that she's never seen before. Super encouraging for this mystery and discovery. These two main themes that Horizon Zero Dawn did so well and stand out to me. And it's standing out to me here again. I have a, yeah, of course, a better understanding of what's going on. When I first saw the Horizon Zero Dawn, I was like, uh, why is this uh, tribal lady fighting robot dinosaurs? Obviously, I know this world a lot better now, but I've still got this intrigue of like, what in the world is going on and what is causing this chaos? And what other things can we see throughout these parts of the world that Aloy has never been to before? Like, what's out here on the West Coast that isn't in Colorado and Utah that could be totally different and bring a broader scale to the threat and what the humans did when building the machines in the past, what did they put in place? Obviously, we know about Gaia, 
and Hades, but what else was there in the background? And were there other people that had other developments, other businesses that developed machines? We don't know yet. We don't know what else could come to pass that Forbidden West will introduce here. But I love that we're seeing the continued theme of mystery and discovery that Aloy's going on this journey, traveling through all these different landscapes, traveling through all these different areas, and learning more and more and more to again stop a threat. There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No depth I won't explore. The underwater gameplay looks so fucking good. Holy shit. Like different environment sides of things, hiding through the seaweeds and using that for stealth to avoid dealing with fighting any machines. But also then we're going to go forward and see different areas that have been lost from human civilization that I'm sure will come into play with certain mysteries and clues to help Aloy in her adventure. That's exciting as well. No secret I won't unlock. No barrier I won't cross. Again, just seeing the variety of landscapes we're going to be dealing with here. I wonder how massive this fucking map's going to be. Because you've got, obviously, San Francisco and the Pacific Ocean that we're seeing. But we're also seeing these mountainous areas and snow and a desert. Like, obviously, we had that desert sort of area with Utah and then the mountains and forests of Colorado, but I guess I, I'm curious as to how far we go. Will we have areas that we saw in Horizon Zero Dawn come back, or is this all new stuff? This mission is mine alone. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left. Like, come on, look at these shots. This game looks... I can't... I can't get over it. I'm just so blown away by the landscape here. This whole trailer has nailed everything. You're not giving away too much. You're introducing a new threat. You're showing us Aloy, exploring a new world, bringing mystery, bringing discovery into it, showing us what we love about the first game, while also introducing all these new areas, landscapes, and the game looks so ridiculously good. Like, I think, I literally, I pause it here, I feel like, I'm watching a 4K, obviously, you're not in my video because, uh, but, here we are, the game looks like a 4K high-res wallpaper artwork someone's done, but it's fucking in-game. It's bullshit. That's so ridiculous. To stop what's coming. So I just want to point out here, Silence. Now, I haven't played Horizon in a while. This could just be me being dumb. But Silence has a staff there. Now, we know that Aloy, she used her fucking spear, staff, whatever, to take control of machines. I don't remember Silence having one. But it looks like he has one now, so Silence using Hades to get control of the machines. Perhaps by the looks of it, he's got men helping him, if these are his men. He's looking up in the sky, we saw these comets going down, not sure what that has to do with anything. Perhaps there's some satellite involvement here, there's other technologies in space that he may need to take control of that can affect the world below. Who knows? I'm just spitballing ideas here from what I've seen. But Silent's up to no fucking good, and that's pretty clear. And he wants to take control of the machines, and we still don't understand Silent's intentions, and that's another big intrigue, obviously, moving forward and in this game. But it's cool to see him back and that his storyline will continue forward and that he is likely a threat. But Aloy obviously doesn't know that, so I'm sure he'll come into play as a continued ally, at least she will believe that to be the case. And, um there'll probably be a big moment of betrayal. I'd say early on, I'm sure, in this game. And perhaps that's how he gets this spear. And we have to sort of start again with all that stuff. Who knows? But anyway, spit all ideas here. Let's continue with the trailer. One point I forgot is 
obviously it looks like th- his these men heroes have a spear that controls these machines so maybe there's more of that technology around obviously there is actually from from memory of just the end of the trailer but anyway we'll go on <laughs> Horizon 2 Forbidden West. Now, obviously, we know Forbidden West, I'm sure, meaning there's going to be some stories about what's out here in the West Coast. That's what it's meaning, and when we see this uh, trial that's about to happen after this title picture. But what we see in the scale, San Francisco, this city in the background, the landscapes around that we've seen throughout this trailer, what an m- amazing trailer. Great title. Very thematic to the franchise and I feel like the the yeah, I feel like Horizon Zero Dawn such a great title and uh, Forbidden West another great one as well. And we obviously saw some f- these flying machines the new ones that have been introduced in this game I don't believe they're in the first game. Um I'm not sure if I saw a screenshot I feel like on Twitter of Aloy flying on them. Maybe I'm totally wrong but I feel like maybe we'll be able to fly some machines in this one. Maybe, who knows? There's a lot of high-rise buildings. If you want to get up to the top of them, might be easier that way. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's just finish off this trailer now, right? But whatever comes. Right, okay. So, fucking massive elephants. First of all, that's ridiculous. And a tribe that looks scary as shit. Who have control of these machines as well. Which is a big point. The main thing here is... There's multiple threats, obviously. Uh, Whatever this plant that's killing the natural life around it... Both fauna and flora... That's to do with Hades. Just from the fucking red lightning and clouds and shit. That's from Hades. Perhaps silence silence has something... I called him silence. Silence has something to do with that. Plus also the reason maybe it's called the Forbidden West is because you've got this fucking massive tribe that controls machines there that fuck everybody up. So you got multiple threats and one big part of Horizon Zero Dawn, again, was you're not just dealing with this mystery and discovery that Aloy is going through and this overarching threat, you're also dealing with socio-political environments with the different cultures and civilizations that you come into contact with. And... It's a big part of that game, and it'll be a big part of Forbidden West. In fact, they're showing it right here. So I look forward to seeing how Aloy navigates this and deals with them. Will there be simply some super uber evil tribe that controls machines, or will there be something a bit more deeper to it? Like, there's a reason they live that way. There's a reason they need control of the machines. Are they just trying to take over the world, or are they defending themselves against something greater? Who knows? I don't know. Um, again, spitballing ideas. The second time watching this trailer, I'm just a guy that loves this franchise and has been dying to see a sequel. And here we are. I'm excited, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. Bear with me here. Anyway, let's finish it off and I will wrap this up. Fucking tremendous. Now, there's no release date for Horizon Forbidden West. And that's fine. But I expect it now then to be 2021. It, you know, we've got Spider-Man Miles Marias. Mar- Mar- Marias? Morales? Miles, Mar- Miles Morales. Miles Morales. Why did I say Marias? Miles Morales that comes out as a launch title in holiday 2020 with PS5. Uh, this doesn't have release date, so I assume it's not holiday 2020, and it'll be at earliest 2021, which is great. Gives the PS5 time to sell some fucking units, and we will get this incredibly beautiful, gorgeous game next year. But I can wait. I can wait. I want to see a masterpiece, and I, and I love hype, ladies and gentlemen, and I love making videos, so I want to enjoy making these videos for you and talking about Horizon Forbidden West. Until then, I can wait. I love hype. I can enjoy the hype. But obviously, I don't enjoy hype as much as I enjoy playing it. So, I I will look forward to the day that it comes out and I can play the shit out of this game. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. 
I loved the trailer. It gave me just enough, not too much. Show me the beautiful landscapes, show me the world, show me how the game's going to look, which is amazing. Aloy's back obviously had to happen. Top priority for me as a fan for that to happen. We get some new and old threats introduced. And the themes that made Horizon Zero Dawn so good seem to be very much at the forefront of Horizon Forbidden West. So I'm loving this trailer. Can't wait for this game. Going to enjoy the hype. If you want to see more of my coverage of Horizon Forbidden West, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and consider pledging to patreon.com forward slash as always. Once again, thank you to our Patreon producers for making this video happen and my channel exists. I wouldn't be here without you, so I appreciate all of you that support me. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time for more videos. And in fact, I'll be back next Monday over on James's channel, Laces, for the As Always podcast, episode 125, co hosted by guest co host, Long Eared Fox, that's George Welford. And we'll be talking all things of that PS5 event, including Spider Man, Horizon Forbidden West, and more. Having a look at The Last of Us Part 2, I'm sure, since that's about to come out. So there's a lot of conversation going on, so be sure to check that out. So thanks again, ladies and gentlemen. See you on the podcast next week. Goodbye.